entirety of the series. Uh, this Lightning team is better than the Rangers, obviously. Uh, however, when you talk about the uh, when you talk about the Avalanche, they've lived up to the billing every step of the way. Like they had such high expectations heading into this postseason, and they somehow overexceeded those expectations. Over for Rantanen. Quickly for McCarr. Winds and fires. He shoots and scores. Oh, hail, hail. It's a power play goal. His second special teams goal of the period. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are drinking from a fountain. They certainly are. Uh, and Kale McCarr, who scored the, uh, it was the second goal of the evening to put the Avalanche up 7-0 to zero in the third period. That call courtesy of Altitude 92.5 in Denver. He's had himself an incredible postseason so far. And the Avalanche have had an incredible postseason so far at home specifically. Now they're up 2-0 to zero in the Stanley Cup final. I didn't see this coming for the Tampa Bay Lightning, but again... I don't think it's time to hit the panic button just yet because being down in a playoff series this year for the Lightning has been a common theme. They did it against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, they lost the first game of that series. They were down 2-0 to zero in the Eastern Conference Finals against the New York Rangers. Are you giving them a shot here to come back in Game 3? I'll give them a shot to come back in Game 3, Courtney. I don't know if I'll give them a shot to come back in the entirety of the series. Uh, this lightning team is better than the rangers obviously uh however when you talk about the uh when you talk about the avalanche they've lived up to the billing every step of the way like they had such high expectations heading into this postseason and they somehow over exceeded those expectations last night felt like the culmination of that and just declaring how much better they were than the other side of the ice i was excited about them making it out of the West because I like offense. I like a lot of goals. I didn't expect to see a touchdown uh, scored in an NHL Stanley Cup final, uh, 7-0 to in favor of the Colorado Avalanche on Saturday night in Game 2. But, my gosh, they're keeping it really interesting. You know what else is interesting, too, is the fact that John Cooper, head coach of the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, did not pull Andre Vasilevsky last night. He stayed in goal for the entire three periods, gave up all seven of those goals. Obviously, not every single one you can pin on the best goalkeeper of this era, but I was surprised to see that, considering how high scoring this game got. I, I kind of like it. You know, I, I think when you're in the in the finals there, you always try to feel like you, you've got a uh, you've got a chance. Obviously, you got deep into the third period and it turned into a NFC North score in the uh, in, in the December <laughs> or January weather. Uh, you Greg Scalza with you here this Sunday morning, Father's Day, Sunday morning on the best week ever. The best part to me about this game was we got what we've been clamoring for the entire Warriors Celtics series on the Warriors side of things. Three to ninety in game six. That was Mark Kestrichere on the call for ESPN Radio. Mark, I hope you can go get a nap now after all the work you've been doing here in the postseason. The Warriors, as he said, beat the Celtics 103-90, a game that really wasn't that competitive from the second quarter all the way till you know, final minutes of the fourth quarter. They made things interesting, and you felt like the Warriors were going to potentially burn that one and burn themselves, but... When Steph's pointing at his ring finger and trash talking up 22 with 18 minutes to go, uh, I don't know what more you can expect. This Warriors team is incredible. It might be their best championship that they've won. Well, I think it was great to highlight, too, just how incredible Steph Curry is, not just as a shooter, but as an overall player. To see the way that he penetrated the defense at times, got his teammates involved, the championship DNA that Steve Kerr uh, and that Warriors organization has really built within that, that, that franchise. Uh, all sort of culminated into this championship, I think, in a way that 
really put sort of a bookend, and I'm not saying they're done by any means. They're going to come back as one of the favorites next year, but sort of a bookend on what you would declare as a true dynasty in the NBA. Courtney Cronin, Greg Scalza with you here this Sunday morning, Father's Day, Sunday morning on the best week ever. The best part to me about this game was we got what we've been clamoring for the entire Warriors Celtics series on the Warriors side of things. It wasn't Steph having to carry everything, and he did. He won finals MVP and deservedly so, dropped 34 points on Thursday night. But you saw the culmination of all of the efforts from Draymond Green 12 points, 12, 12 rebounds, 8 assists. Clay Thompson added 12 points, and Jordan Poole showed up. Um, he's shown up the last couple games after not showing up in the first couple games. 15 points for Poole and Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins, uh, 18 points for, for uh, the Canadian himself. Um, what an incredible effort just from this entire team. Like, oh, I, I loved seeing all the contributions that came from places that were not just Steph Curry. And you can't underscore the defensive effort from Andrew Wiggins enough. Yes. I mean, Jason Tatum struggled, but Andrew Wiggins really, really seemed to reach his potential when the lights sh uh, shined the brightest on him. The former number one overall pick, people compared him to LeBron James. It was awesome to see him get some shine on the biggest stage there. And they're doing this without James Weissman, who was a, a, a top three pick uh, a couple of years ago. They're doing this without some pieces that, uh, that, that show that they They've got a little bit more of a future than I think many people were anticipating. And people already like the Warriors for next year. Five to one odds to win it all, according to Caesar Sportsbook. So that makes them the favorites. And we'll talk about this dynasty and, and where they're headed and kind of why this one feels different in a, in a little bit here on Best Week Ever. But you've got to think that we're not necessarily nearing the end with this Golden State Warriors team. You kept Steph Curry at 34 years old continuing to play this way. He could play till he's 40. And think about that young core. You had mentioned James Wiseman, Jonathan Kaminga, Jordan Poole, Moses Moody, like all of these draft picks that they didn't just do away with uh, after they had two in the top 14 last year. That's...